In Activity 3, Can the Force Go Through It?, students discover that a magnetic force is invisible and can travel through materials. Students then guess which objects will block the force of magnetism and finally investigate which materials allow the magnetic force to pass through them. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 2, piece of aluminum foil squares, square flannel cloths, magnetic and non-magnetic objects, and small magnets. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 2 for each student. Each team of four students will need two small magnets, a bag of magnetic and non-magnetic objects, a small square of flannel cloth, and a small square of aluminum foil. To begin the activity, divide the class into teams of four and distribute Activity Sheet 2. Explain that they will experiment with different objects to see if they can block the force of a magnet to attract objects. This force is called magnetism. In the first column of the activity sheet, have students record their guesses regarding which objects will block the force and which will not. Next, distribute the materials. Tell students to wrap the flannel cloth square around the magnet and attempt to pick up the paper clip with the magnet. Have them record their results. Repeat this process with the square of aluminum foil wrapped around the magnet, and then with the magnet inserted into the plastic bag emptied of its magnetic and non-magnetic contents. When students have finished testing with these three materials, have them place the paper clip and magnet flat on a non-metallic desk and slowly move the magnet toward the paper clip until the clip is drawn to the magnet. Repeat this exercise, each time placing a different object between the magnet and the paper clip to see if the magnetic attraction is interrupted. Give the teams time to experiment with all of the objects from the bag to see which ones, if any, block the magnetic force. As the teams work, make sure they are sharing the investigative tasks. Next, when the investigation of all of the objects is complete, invite the students to discuss their findings. If there is a disagreement, have the groups repeat that part of the investigation. Then ask students, did any objects appear to block the force of magnetism? Students should understand that when a magnetic object was placed between the magnet and the paper clip, the force of the magnet was pulled, distorted, or redirected by the magnetic object, resulting in little force passing through it. However, the force was able to pass through thin, non-magnetic objects, such as air, paper, and aluminum foil. Thick, non-magnetic objects, such as the wooden cube, may have appeared to block the force, but it was actually just the thickness of the object that kept the paper clip outside the range of the force of the magnet. Finally, ask students, what do you think causes one material to be magnetic and another material to be non-magnetic? Accept all responses to this question and give students plenty of time to discuss them. Then explain that it has to do with the way the atoms inside the material either align or do not align when brought near a magnet's force. To conclude the activity, return all of the materials to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.